In this Blender tutorial, I will show you how to create wireframes using geometry nodes. So what you need to do first is bring up the geometry nodes editor. So you can just click right here when the crosshair appears and drag over to split the window. And then you can click right here and go down here to the geometry node editor. And then just select the object that you wanna add the wireframe to. And then I'm gonna click on new and that's gonna add geometry nodes. And I can just call this wireframe. Now you can add this wireframe to your 3D object, but you could also add this to an object within geometry nodes. So I have this monkey head here, you could add it to that. Or I could also press shift A and I could like search for a icosphere or a UV sphere. And then I could plug this up. And so I could use that instead, if I didn't want to use the actual 3d geometry. So to create the wireframe, I'm going to press shift A, and I'm going to go to the search here, and I'm going to search for a mesh to curve. So a mesh to curve, let's put this down here. And then I'm going to plug the geometry up to the mesh. And then to be able to preview this, I can plug the curve into the geometry. So so now you can see that we have a wireframe, but this isn't actually going to show up in the render because it doesn't have any thickness. So to give it thickness, let's press shift A and I'm going to now search for a mesh to curve. So it's the exact opposite. So it's originally a mesh, but we're converting it to a curve. And then we're using this node to convert the curve back to a mesh. So I'm going to stick that right there. Now we need some sort of profile curve to give it the thickness. So I'm going to press shift A and I'm going to go to the search here and I'm going to search for a curve circle. Let's just drop this down here. And then I can take the curve and I can plug that into the profile curve and it's way too big. So what I can do is just change this radius down here. So I'm just going to hold down the shift key and then just click and drag on the radius and I can make that much smaller. Now this is actually pretty high detail because the curved circle resolution is set to 32. That's pretty high detail and especially if you have a more complex object that could get kind of laggy. So you can just turn the resolution way down. I'm just going to turn mine down to like a four. So the resolution is going to be much smaller and it does look just a little bit blocky. If you want to turn it up a little bit more you can to make it a little bit more circular or you could turn it way down to just like a three or a four. So this is really cool, but let's say that you also want to see the original geometry because maybe I want to be able to see the actual faces for the monkey head, but I also want to be able to see the wireframe on top of that. Well, that's really easy to add. We can just press shift A, go to the search here, and I'm going to search for a join geometry. So we're just going to drop it here. Up here, we have these three nodes and these are creating the wireframe, but I can also just plug the original geometry up to the join geometry. And now you can see that we have both of them. So we have the original monkey, the face of the monkey, but then we also have the new wireframe. So that's really cool. There is one more thing that I want to show you though. Let's say that you want to have two different materials. So one material you want to have on the monkey, but then you want there to be a separate material, like a separate color for the wireframe. Well, that's really easy to do as well. We can just create some materials and then set the materials to those parts of the geometry. So I'm just going to go right over here on the side panel to the material properties and I'm going to click on new and then I can take the base color here and I can just change it to a color. Now, because the monkey head is the original geometry. We've added this material to that object. And so the original geometry is going to be blue, but you might not be using the group output. You might be using like a cube node or a cone node or a sphere node, something like that. So what we need to do is just set the material to this geometry. So to do that, I'm going to press shift a, I'm going to go to the search here and I'm going to search for a set material node. And then I just want to drop it right here between the group input and the join geometry. And then you can just click right here and you can change it to the monkey material. And then I also want to have a different material for the wireframe. So I'm going to click on the set material. I'm going to press shift D to duplicate it. And I'm going to drop it right here because this geometry right here, that is the wireframe. So I'm going to drop it here and you can see now the wireframe is blue. But if I want it to be a different material, I can just click on the X here. And then I'm just going to click on the X right here to get rid of this material. I'm going to click on new and I can just rename this wireframe. And then I could just make this whatever color I want. For instance, maybe like a black color and then I can click here on the set material and I can search for the wireframe material. Now, if you wanted to add this wireframe to more objects, then that's actually really easy to do. So right over here, I've actually imported my War Cannon 3D model. This is a 3D asset that I'm selling, links in the description if you wanna check it out. So what I'm gonna do is just press B for the box select and I'm just gonna box select all of the objects. And then I'm going to hold down the shift key and lastly select the monkey because the monkey has the geometry nodes with the wireframe. 
wireframe. And I know this one is selected last because it has a yellow outline, whereas these objects have an orange outline. So I'm now going to press Control L, and then I want to go down here and copy modifiers. And there we have it. So now the War Cannon has the same wireframe setup. And why this worked is because when you add geometry nodes, the geometry nodes are added as a modifier in the modifier properties. So we can just copy the modifier to all the other objects. And there we go. So now we have a really nice wireframe for this 3D model. So that is it. That is how you create wireframes in geometry nodes. Now, if you'd like to watch some of my other geometry node tutorials, I will have the playlist to my other geometry node tutorials in the description. And I'll also throw some geometry node tutorials right up there on the end screen. And you also might be interested in checking out my futuristic looping animation geometry nodes tutorial, where we create this futuristic looping animation right here. Links in the description if you'd like to check that out. And if you'd like to help support me and my YouTube channel, I'll also have links in the description to my Gumroad store and my Patreon page. But I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and thank you for watching.